today I want to talk about music, what it is to me, and how I got started. So, to me, music. Music is everything. It's the universe. It's the universe and sound. The universe has its own music that we've captured on recording. We've heard the, user, the universe making weird sounds and all of those kinds of things. So, thunder and rain, like, think about that. Like, it's very peaceful, very calming. They have, like, those rainforest meditation CDs and stuff that you can buy. It's not something that I really do, but it's the thing that's out there. And, like, Mother Nature and the universe and just everything, it definitely has its own form of music. So, when I think of music from a human perspective, from us using our voices and our instruments to make music, what it means to me is we are just the universe embodied. We are everything. We're all connected, whether we're a hateful person or a bad person or a good person, a positive person, you know. We're, we're still all connected. Everything comes with two sides. Everything in life is always double-sided. There's no single-sided thing in life. Everything has its purpose. So, to me, music is the same thing. Some music is really dark, and some music is really happy. I like all of it. I don't have a specific preference when it comes to happy or sad or dark or angry. It, it doesn't matter to me. Music is the raw embodiment of the universe expressed in the human form. So, you don't have to sing perfect to impress me. You don't have to play perfect to impress me. I want to feel your soul when I'm listening to music. I want to feel what you felt when you wrote that song. When I write a song, I want people to feel what I felt, whether it be bad or good or whatever. So that's what music really is to me. Music is just the universe embodied and shouted out in the human form. And it's a beautiful thing. It, it's, it's just beautiful. So how did I get started playing music? Well, this will be a bit of a story, because I've been playing music for a long time in many different forms. So, <clears throat> I'd say it started, I was, I was very young, and my, my dad was into metal, my mom was into metal too, but they were also into a lot of other kinds of music, like, basically every kind of music. Uh, so, I was never really taught to like one type of music. I was just immediately exposed to all of them. So I've never had a specific preference on music, really, because I've always been exposed to all of it. My first concert, I was about five. My mom and my dad took me to a Kiss concert. They painted my face up like Peter Chris because I, I really liked the drums back then, and... It was, it was a really good time, and uh, Aerosmith played too. I think we left like halfway through Aerosmith because I guess they weren't doing too good that night or something. I'm not really sure. I was like five, so I just like take my parents' story for this. So, I remember I got like a little, uh, a little drum set, a Kiss drum set for like, Christmas or a birthday or something, I was like five or six, I think, maybe, maybe a little younger, and I like to beat on that and shit, that was a good time, from what I remember, at least, so, when I was about ten, my mom and my stepfather at the time got me a, a, a drum set from a pawn shop, and I started messing around with that because I really wanted to be a drummer and, you know, anything takes practice when you're new to something, so obviously it was like really bad at first, it was just banging, lots of banging, but 
eventually I grew to be such a good drummer that like people told me all the time that I'm one of the best drummers that they know and uh, that honestly that's humbling like I don't feel any sort of ego or like confidence from that because to me I'm just doing what I was supposed to do my whole life like it's what I love music is like everything to me so when people say that I'm doing good to me it just says that like I'm really kind of fulfilling myself in whatever I'm doing like uh, I'm definitely serving whatever purpose I think I might have in this world so that's how I feel when people give me compliments on my music and things like that because I never really actually think that it's any like good like that good at all so I, I mean I'm confident in the fact that I can perform it and execute it well and make people like it but to me it's nothing special like it, it just comes natural it always has so people telling me that it's good it's very humbling I really appreciate it you know, when I get compliments and things like that it, it means a lot so really I played, uh, I played drums in the church band when I was about 13, I think. Yeah, my stepdad was the band leader on the worship team, and he asked me to play drums for them. It took him a little while to convince me to do it, because I was really shy in front of people. I still am. I'm a very shy person, so performing is, is very, like, it's odd for me. But I do enjoy doing it. I like playing my music for people. But, yeah, when I was, like, 13, it took him a little while to convince me to do it, but he did. So I did that for a little while, and then I got into, like, Under Oath and kind of, like, metalcore bands and stuff like that and started playing more metal kind of stuff on the drums. And that's really where I, I just started getting very good at it. So there's that. When I was, like, 14 or 15, that's when I started trying to play guitar a bit. The first two songs I learned on guitar were Hey Hey My My by Neil Young and Marilyn Manson's cover version of Sweet Dreams. So that's kind of where I started on guitar. It was very rock and rollish kind of stuff. Uh, I got into like playing kind of metal stuff on guitar too. And then I got into folk and like the doors and psychedelic kind of stuff like that, the blues and things. I got into jazz, and then I got into folk punk, which is where I started singing. Uh, I I sang, like, my whole life, just, like, along to things on the radio, and uh, I never really thought I was that good at singing. So I started playing folk punk because... The emotion really vibed with me, the feeling of it vibed with me, it was very relatable to me, and it was a way for me to learn how to sing and also express the things that I wanted to express at the time. But now, I'm really kind of into like bluesy, psychedelic kind of folk music, really dark kind of stuff, uh, with a lot more pronounced, I guess, singing in it, a different style than folk punk entirely, but folk punk really did help me a lot to, like, find my roots and, like, figure out the things that it was that I really believed in and, like, wanted to sing about. Like, what do I really want to sing about? That's what I was asking myself. And it, it took me a while to figure it out, and it boiled down to kind of, like, the human condition, like all the emotions people experience all the time, like when people get anxious and things like that, and when people are like addicted to drugs, or just really angry with politics, or whatever is going on in the world at the time, I, I really just wanted to connect with all of that in a way that was kind of really blunt but poetic at the same time. And at first it was just really, really exciting extremely blunt and over the past like three or four years or so it's become much more poetic and much more mellow like psychedelic folk rock kind
kind of elements into it. So <clears throat> that was the transformation that happened with singing and playing guitar and writing my own solo songs after I uh, didn't really play drums in bands anymore. So, yeah, to me, music is the universe. Music is everything that lives inside of everyone. It's the sound of everything that happens in the world. Every culture, every person, no matter what they are, who they are, what they believe. Music is just the pure expression of the universe in the human form. And I think that's really all I have to say about that. So, I hope you all have a beautiful day. I want you to live a great life. Love each other. Love yourself. Believe in your dreams. There's always hope for something better. There's always hope. So don't give up. Just stay woke and be you. Peace out, YouTube. Leave a like. Subscribe. Have a beautiful day.